Today I'm going to take you on a tour of Vasaro. They're a sim racing company based in the UK that makes bespoke racing simulators that will blow your mind and your wallet. Now they've kindly invited me to have a go on three of their sim rig setups and have a good look around. So sit back, buckle up and let's take a wild ride into the world of Vasaro simulators. Today we're going to start with Vasaro's lowest cost sim that they've got in the showroom today. This is the Vasaro V0 and it starts at a staggering £38,000. What do you get when you pay £38,000 for this? Well, you get an amazing bespoke shell that is finished in this lovely gloss back. It really looks quite incredible. The whole rig is mounted on D-Box's two-axis software. Another cool thing about this is this central fog light. It's an F1 style fog light and it looks awesome. In terms of the steering stuff, you get a Moza R16 and a Moza FSR wheel with the amazing LED screen. You get an Asus 49 inch ultra wide display and you get some Husingvel pedals. And as I said, this is all on a motion rig. Now, this is currently running iRacing. I'm really looking forward to giving this a go. Let's have a look. Okay, this is my first time getting into the Vasaro V0. It's taken me some time to get this set up and you can see this guy's getting annoyed with me, but it's my first time using this Moser Racing wheel and oh my God, it is stunning. So immediately you can feel <laughs> the force feedback or motion from the wheel and the seat. Every damn time. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> the motion makes a huge difference to your experience. And, oh, wow, going on the curves. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. I love the way the sound is coming out of here. You can barely, can barely hear myself talk. The D-Box software is really good. As you can see, the movement isn't crazy. It is a two axis mover. So you get forward and back, left and right, but you don't get up and down and you don't get that real feeling of being connected by all four wheels. So that is what's missing. But you know what? <laughs> I think this is enough for me and for most people. This is absolutely awesome. And genuinely having such a good time. The most awesome thing I think about using motion simulators is the fact that you get that heat, you get that feeling when you brake, you go forwards as if there is some G-force. You can, okay. <laughs> so while testing the V0, it turns out I didn't have the wheel calibrated properly, resulting in exaggerated increased amounts of turning, resulting in a crash. Well then, that's that. Let's try something else. Now, if you're a classy guy, you may think that sim racing may not be for you. Well, Vasaro have brought something out called the Vasaro Classic, which is, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful sim racing rigs I have ever seen. Look at the seats. It reminds me of something like a Singer, a classic Porsche that's been redone and reimagined. Well, Vasaro have done this for the people who rather drive classic cars. Even just look at this. It's got a lovely wooden finished gear knob, which is attached to a quaif gearbox, a literal real life gearbox that you can use in the sim and it is rifle sharp. Look at that. Now the steering wheel as you can see is finished in this lovely oak effect classic steering wheel with metal down the middle. In terms of the hardware we've got a Simicube as the wheelbase. We have got Husingfeld Ultimate Plus pedals which is essentially the best you can get in the sim racing space. We have got triple 65 inch TVs for your visuals and we have got a 6 inch D-Box motion platform for the rig. We're gonna drive a classic car, a Lamborghini Maiora. A Lamborghini Maiora is in the millions. This rig costs around 65,000 pounds. So you tell me, is this money well spent instead of that? Let's find out. Let me tell you, I am quite excited. Now, the thing I forgot to mention is that this does have a kind of seatbelt mover of sorts. It's not an electric motor. It's essentially a static system that works with the basic laws of mechanics, which is if you strap someone in and keep that still and the rig moves, then your seatbelt will move. And apparently this is pretty good. Oh my God. <laughs> wow, this is, this is incredible. <laughs> this 
<laughs> I need one of these in my life. Wow. The force feedback from the wheel is unbelievable, but that's to be expected from the likes of Simicube. <laughs> I can't even keep it on the road. That's to be expected with the likes of Simicube, but the motion is the most impressive thing here. The way the thing moves and the seatbelt mover feels so realistic. It's given me a good idea about what's happening with the car in the game. And trust me, if you're into driving classic cars, then you are going to absolutely love this thing. It is unreal. Oh, it does add a, an element of fear in this because <laughs> you actually feel like you are going to be in some trouble if you crash. You actually don't want to crash because I don't really want to find out what happens, really. Okay, there we go. <laughs> this is so awesome. Wow. Oh, this does feel like ah, driving a real car. Wow. So this gearbox feels unbelievable. It feels like a real car. It actually feels better than a real car because I have never driven a car that feels... Ah. Try and heal in tow. Okay. Oh, no. Wow, that was, um, that was, that was quite incredible. I can tell you now that the motion platform makes a huge difference to how this thing actually runs. Like you feel like you're in a real car because it's four points. It's the front wheels and the back wheels and the way it tips forwards and moves around. When you forget that this platform is moving, it feels real, which is unbelievable. So, you know, 65K for the Visaro Classic. I'm gonna give this a solid nine out of 10 for immersive sim racing feel, the styling. This is pretty good, better get saving. But there's one more sim to try here today and I am very excited to give that one a go. But first let's learn some more about Visaro and have a little look around. Visaro are a company who've been making high-end sim rigs in Maidstone, England for about 12 years now. And it all started when the CEO and founder was playing this as a kid which gave him the inspiration to make his own bespoke sim rigs. Now, spending over a hundred thousand pounds on a sim rig may sound like a lot of money, because it is, but with Vasaro, you get a bespoke all-in-one plug-and-play piece and amazing customer support. Not only that, even if you live somewhere like Australia, they will fly from the UK to fit it for you, which is incredible. Not that I can afford one. We're here in the Vasaro manufacturing suite where they make all of these amazing sim ribs by hand. Now the tubular structure is actually made locally, but they do all the powder coating and coloring here. They press the metal themselves here and they cut it out using their CNC machine. Now you can customize your rig to have anything you want on it in terms of pedals and steering wheels, but they offer Simicube, they offer Husingfeld, they offer the premium stuff. But as I said, you can literally have anything you want in here within reason. And if Vasaro's offerings are not realistic for you, then look no further than this thing. This is the Vasaro V100 Formula, and you are literally sat in a mock-up of a Formula One car. When you turn the steering wheel, the front wheels actually move, and when it's actually set up properly, you've got a Simicube Ultimate, you've got some Husingveld pedals, and a triple display. And just for safety, because you can never be too safe when sim racing, you actually have a fully working Magnetic halo. There we go. Can someone help me out of this now, please? It's not funny, my back's hurting. Last but certainly not least, we have the Vasaro GT Arc, which is an incredible sim rig sporting three Samsung Odyssey Arc displays, which are curved displays. And Vasaro themselves say that this is the most immersion you can get outside of VR. Looking at the details, we've got a Sabelt seat here, an actual Sabelt racing seat, and this is attached to a D-Box motor rig, which has got four actuators, about three inches each, which gives you plenty of motion feedback. You've got a GSI wheel, which is one of the new wheels from GSI. I don't know the specific model, but look at this. This is a chunky monster. We've also got a Simicube wheelbase, which is fantastic, and Husingfeld Ultimate pedals. You've got a button box here as well with the Vasaro logos on board and a sound system all round. 
Now, I am incredibly excited to give this a go. I'm excited, but a little bit scared. The classic was really fun, but there's a lot of body roll there, and that is fun for a certain kind of occasion, but this is definitely more what, oh my God. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Oh my days. Wow. Even just from the beginning, you could feel that. That motion is just incredible. And looking left and right, you just have complete and utter immersion. Because the screens are so big and they're curved, it just gives you another... Oh my God, I, I must for words using this. I've definitely got to get a triple screen set up. Wow. So the vibration, the motion, the wheel, like as a package, it doesn't really get any more premium than these things you've got really. And... <laughs> Wow. To replicate door-to-door -door racing like this. Wow, this is just... Oh, oh no. <laughs> and we're off. Took liberties there. Wow. Now, all I can say is that that experience so far is absolutely incredible. Just the way the thing feels when you're driving in it, looking around, all I can see is screen. So you look over to your right, you can see screen. Look over to your left, you can see screen, but it's completely wrap around. This stuff looks very high end. Like the GSI wheel is amazing. I love the Vasaro details on here, the button box, the display up front. And again, the Simicube is unreal. It's my first time trying Simicube here today and I think I've got to get one. So to conclude today's video, I've had a fantastic time at Vasaro looking around their sim rigs and trust me, what an experience it was. My personal favorite, was the GT Arc because it was just an adrenaline rush, but all of them were fantastic fun. Now, thanks to the guys at Vasaro for having me today, letting me look around, letting me play with their sims. They've given me some ideas. Gotta save some money now. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, leave a comment. It all helps a lot. See you next time.